Good afternoon. So, um, I got so much feedback on my 10 ways to be single. Um, you know, I think I could like maybe write a book. I'm not totally sure, but it would be in the Christian, you know, section because unless you're a Christian, you don't understand like the Pam spray, you know, you're not going to understand the scripture on your hand. I mean, the fan, that's not really a Christian thing. Um, not putting out. I mean, that's definitely a Christian thing. Um, you know, so how about tattoos on your body? So, you know what, how many people, th that's controversial, right? Like if you're Christian and if you're old school, it's like you can't mark your body. And then if you're new school, you're millennial, which I'm not a millennial, but I'm just saying my kids all have tattoos. Therefore, I, you know, have done the tattoo thing. And, um, and if you've done the tattoo thing, you can never take the tattoo off unless you get laser surgery. But I mean, come on, who's going to do that? That would take really crazy act of God. Do you know what I mean? Like, ah, but, um, so I think I wanted to add to the list, um, that, you know, another thing that might drive men away is my love for potatoes. So one of my guy best friends, his name's Eric Wildy, and he loves potatoes. So if anybody will understand this, it'll be him. But, um, you know, is there anyone else out there that would share my love for potatoes? So I like baked potatoes. I like mashed potatoes. I like potatoes and breakfast burritos. I like them mashed. I like them ha like hash browns. I like fried potatoes. I, I, I like any kind of potatoes. I like potato salad. I like um, potatoes au gratin, although I don't eat those very much. I love McDonald's french fries. I mean, they must put so much sugar in those, which I found out they did. And there's just something about like the salt, like super fresh, you know, I've gotten to where I like in and out potato fries, like the fries there. It's just, they don't really do it for me. You know what I mean? Like, you know, some people say, Hey, you do it for me. Like nobody else. It's like those potatoes don't really do it for me. Um, but the McDonald's fries, like if I'm going to go bad, go total GMO friendly, genetically modified, like a thousand percent, I think I would probably stick to the McDonald's fries. You know, I, I don't remember the last time I ate them, but I am just saying, does anybody else have a love for French fries, for potatoes, for potato salad, baked potatoes, potatoes are gratin. I mean, just anything potatoes. In fact, me and Eric at one time both said, gosh, you know, on my like death certificate, like at the grave, my gravestone, it might just be like one big potato. You know what I mean? So, so there's that, you know what I'm saying? Like potatoes, they're just, they're amazing. And they're super on a health note. They're super easy to digest. Um, you know, confession of mine. My very first job was at McDonald's. Um, that's where I got introduced to the French fry world, okay? Um, and I just sold Chris Day's house, who's an officer. He was a CHP guy, the head, head, head honcho. And the very first job I ever had was Mickey D's, and he was the guy interviewed me, and he became my boss. And look it, I'm 51 years old. I was 16 then, and I sold him a house, him and Chris and, Chris and Colette Day, whom I love to pieces. Um, so, you know, that, was, that McDonald's relationship, I mean, it lasted like all the those years I'm telling you what so what other job did you guys have so my first job was McDonald's my second job was working at Sunrise Donuts I thought I was that in a bag of chips you know I would cheerlead on Friday night at the football games then I would get like three hours of sleep and then I would go into being a good old um donut hander outer and that's where I got addicted to caffeine so much. So <laughs> I would drink two or three cups of coffee there. And at first I hated coffee. And so I would do like half hot chocolate and half coffee. And the men would come in there, the cops and just a lot of men come in there and they'd be like, are you, on, are you addicted to cocaine? Are you on crack? And I'm like, what makes you say that? And they're like, you're way too happy. Like you're super hyper. You're way too happy. And I'm like, huh, how come I have to be happy? And be on crack you know what I mean so so I started calling it you know I, I, I gotta have my crack I gotta have my juice I gotta have you know all, all that my crack in a pack I gotta have my my coffee and uh, to anybody who's ever suffered drugs trust me I'm not trying to make fun of it because I want to get you set free but for me it's just been my source of energy is coffee um, so anyways why am I telling you guys all that I don't know um, I am waiting for my friend so we can depart and go to, um, minister, but I just wanted to, um, share with you some more of my weirdness, you know, like potatoes and I'm not just all Miss Hammer. So don't think that I am a very normal child on the other side of this. So anyways, we get to pass through Santa Barbara and uh, go to one of my favorite little places to grab coffee. I think if they're still open called Janine's, is anybody familiar with Janine's in Montecito? It's like hands down one of my favorite places. Um, 
Yeah, we get to go down and love on kids and we're getting a bunch of lotions and I think shampoo and conditioners, I think she said. So um, I'm just excited. It's my passion. I love to uh, go help out people. But yeah, so back to the potatoes. Potatoes have gotten kind of like a bad rap because of the whole carb content, you know what I mean? But here's the kicker, people. So if you have cancer, you want to eat potatoes. If you have an eating disorder, you want to eat potatoes. If you have, you know, ulcers, you want to eat potatoes because they are literally the cheapest thing on the planet and they're the world's easiest thing to digest. So on a good note, they are super good fillers for your body. And so when everything else fails, just know the good old fashioned potato is the trick, okay? Um, so anyways, I don't know if anybody else, like if we were really poor, I would be totally cool with like russet potatoes and just like, and like if I could get butter and salt, that'd be awesome. But like I could live off of that. So, you know, I think that, I think that's a good thing on my list. Like I could be super poor and I could just have a bag of potatoes and I'd be totally content. So if anybody else agrees with me, <coughs> excuse me, let me know. Okay. So anyways, I just wanted to say hello. Give a big shout out to you guys. I'm just being rather silly after I give really like strong words. Um, I got it. I got to play because the real Shelly plays and it's just Jesus grabs a hold of me with the other stuff. I'm telling you what. All right, you guys. I love you so much. And if you're a potato fan, I need to know. I mean, it's kind of important. You know what I mean? Um, and, you know, in the future, like, I need fellow potato friends. Like, Sila likes them. Kayla likes them. You know, I mean, there's so many different ways. And you know what? I've always seen potatoes, too at Christmas, at Thanksgiving, at Easter. I mean, if you go to a steakhouse, it's how do you like your potato? I mean, they're so versatile, you know what I'm saying? And so it's it's a love for sure. So is there anyone else out there besides Eric and I that might want it on their tombstone? I don't know. It'd be like Shelly and a big old potato wood. You know what I mean? And so they're very sacred to me. So anyways, I love you guys so much. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I will talk to you later. Okay, bye.